In this short tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make a running year to date chart in Microsoft Excel. We're here, you can see we have we have prices for Apple closing prices and we have data up until now which is which is mid-April. Um, but whenever new data gets populated, this line will extend further. So I just say we go down to where we start seeing these NAs and we start putting a cell above, for example that shows up in the chart right there so to do this first what we want to do is you want to set up your dates where you have from the first of the year and to the last day of the year now in this specific example i am using the stock history function to ultimately get in the raw data um, which is why you see na's for weekend days and closing prices for the stock prices on the weekdays doesn't matter too much in the line chart because it's so um, zoomed out. But one of the keys here with this is that it says uh, is that as you can see in this formula, if error VLOOKUP so is looking up the data, but if we can't find it, then it returns an A. So as you can see, once we stop having data, it returns an A. And this is very important because the NA function doesn't show up on the graph. So as you can see, whenever you start seeing NAs, then it's not showing up on the chart. But because it is using the VLOOKUP, as new data is populated in the stock history function as the sheet is opened, then um, they will go from NA to a closing price, and then and then it will populate the chart. Um, and after, so after getting a data set up like this, you can just graph your chart as you normally would. So just to get a basic line chart in there, hide the data they want to make the graph of, go to the insert tab, recommended charts, and then you can just click on line chart that you're looking for. So that's it. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.